thing to reflect on the, the journey of this project. It first started in 2020, actually in the height of lockdown, and I was giving Black abolitionist walking tours online. And I met with, again, all online, I met with Jude from Huddersfield Library, and that led to a wonderful uh, collaborative uh, event, an online event, a specific walking tour focusing on the Black activists who travelled to the Kirklees area during the 19th century. And that was uh, a really beautiful relationship between libraries in, in Kirklees, archives, community organisations and activists. And it was a really, really wonderful collaborative effort. And then again, since, since then, over the last couple of years, that has led to um, school sessions, so local um, primary and secondary school sessions. It's led to organised walking trails. There was a cycling trail for October Black History uh, Month one year. So it's been a very, very collaborative um, process. It's been um, amazing working um, working with everyone. And in terms of where the project is going, again, there's so many things that we can do and, um, and have done and build on what we have done, perhaps some more um, school workshops and school teaching resources uh, and lessons. I mean, we're, from an archival and research standpoint, we're learning so much about the abolitionists who visited Kirklees on a daily basis. We're finding new information out all of the time. So this idea of a legacy of this project is going to constantly evolve based on the archival re uh, research that we're doing, let alone all the things that we're feeling ambitious uh, about. Um, particularly these walking tours are so fascinating because it involves a range of different um, folks um, uh, and it's just a really exciting thing to be able to, to get out and see um, in person uh, where these um, 